What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping on to the rank double ladder, and in today's video, we got ourselves a Life Orb Gengar team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. We got brand new games coming up just like Super Mario 3D All-Stars and Pikmin 3, so I hope you guys are hyped for those playthroughs as well. But I picked this team because I saw Life Orb Gengar, and I know everybody loves Loves Gengar and including myself Gengar is just such a cool Pokemon and he's fun to use so hopefully we can get some wins with these guys but rocking out on the team we got Gengar obviously with Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb both for stab moves, Dazzling Gleam for coverage, Protect, Curse Body as its uh, ability and Life Orb as its item. We also got the Fighting and Dark Urshifu with Close Combat, Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch and Detect. I love this moveset on it but I usually don't use this uh, Urshifu. I usually use the Water and Fighting one so it's going to be kind of fun to try out this one. We also got Tessarina. I also know that I am mispronouncing this. Like, I forget the real pronouncement for it. And I know you guys are going to roast me in the comment section down below. You guys will be like, oh, jeans, blah, blah, blah. You're pronouncing it wrong, blah, blah, blah. Well, keep your mouth shut. Keep it to yourself. I'm not dealing with you guys today. <laughs> I'm just playing around, but this thing has Queenly Majesty for its ability, Wild Lens for its item, Power Whip, High Jump Kick, Triple Axle, and Protect. We also got the new Season 6 mod, well not Season 6, I call it the new Season 6 mod because it has been crazy, like on all teams. Talon Flame over here with Gale Wings and Safety Goggles, this thing has been an absolute beast on tons of different teams, an amazing Tailwind Pokemon. This thing has Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, Taunt, and Tailwind, just such a strong Pokemon. Hits hard, it can set up a Taunt so it can cancel out Trick Rooms, and Tailwind for that double speed. The bottom left, we got Primarina over here, Water Fairy type with Hyper Voice, Liquid Voice as its ability, so it makes that Hyper Voice actually turn water, Moon Blast, Energy Ball, and Hydro Cannon, also holding out a Soul Fest so we can soak up a little bit of extra special attack damage. And then in the final spot, one of my favorite Pokemon, not gonna lie, not like just Pokemon wise, like, like looks wise, just like using this Pokemon is gonna be this Arcanine with Intimidate, Snarl, and will o -Wisp. Like, dude, Snarl, will o -Wisp, and Intimidate on Arcanine, you can control so much. I absolutely love using it and rocking out with it. Its item is I pop a berry so it can actually survive longer and Helping Hand to actually support Pokemon as well. But guys, you wanna try out the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins on the ranked double ladder with this Life Orb Gengar team. First battle coming at you guys, this guy has a Trick Room team, obviously, he has Hatterene, Amoongus, Gastrodon, Scrafty, Primarina, and Colossal, I gotta watch out for that Colossal so they don't go into Aqua Jet and just roll out after my team, um, I definitely kinda wanna lead Talonflame here, just in case he tries to go Trick Room, I can always taunt it up, all that good stuff, and then who else should I really go into, who should I go into, so I'm gonna kinda just like, do some big old damage over to that, uh, that Colossal, I really don't feel like dealing with it, cause everybody knows that thing's gonna be able to just absolutely run me and do some work. Um, hmm. Do we go on the Primarina? Do I go on the Primarina, potentially Tailwind, mm, and then attack? Or do I go into Urshifu? I think, I think we go Urshifu, we bring Gengar in the back, and then I think Primarina. I kind of want Arcanine. I feel like Arcanine is just an absolute beast. Hmm. I kind of want Arcanine. No lie. I said we go Arcanine. Let's get wrong with that. Let's get wrong with that. I feel like he is going to lead the Primarina and Colossal lead. I hope not. I feel like that we kind of struggle a little bit up against it, but we're going to get after it. We are going to get after it and try to get some wins here. But I hope he leads the Trick Room team. I can taunt up on the Hatterene and say, yo, see you later. I think I can taunt the Hatterene, right? Right? I kind of want to look that up so I don't make the mistake. I always get confused of who I can taunt or who I cannot. Usually someone let me know in the comment section down below how it's going to go. But this guy's going to lead the Colossal and Primarina. So we go Talonflame and Urshi Ursh. And Urshifu. Um, I'm fine with it. Um, hmm, I don't even think I need a Tailwind. Actually, do I need a Tailwind? I feel like maybe we do Tailwind. I mean, he's going to take out my Braviary after this, so I'm going to win to Tailwind. Try to get some speed up in here. And then do I uh, detect? Do I go for a Wicked Blow? How do I really play this one out? I think I just go straight into a close combat. And try to do as much damage as I can to this, uh, this Colossal. Because everybody knows that. Oh, he's going to win. Oh, Colossal, you buttery biscuit. What are you doing? You're going to go straight into Gastrodon. And we are not water. We are not going for a water move here. So eat me, dude. Eat me. We're going for Tailwind in a close combat. This guy's trying to uh, hard read me into a... Uh, he thought I was, I guess, a water typing? Maybe? I don't really know. My defense is down. But that's totally fine. We have a Sash, and he's going to go into a Liquid Voice. Obviously. Oh, wow. Moon Blast. Okay. I'm fine with that. We'll eat that up. That's totally fine. Focus Sash is going to trigger... I'm feeling good about this one. I think Gastron protects here. Am I correct? Gastron protects. That's safe to say. And then we just pop off into a Brave Bird just in case. Or do we just read hard? 
Or we just read hard here. I said we just double up into the Prima Arena. We got speed advantage. I'm gonna double up in the Prima Arena, Prima Arena slot and say Cash Shine. Let's go for the Protect. Mm. Actually, I can hit through Protect. I can hit through Protect. I'm gonna go for a Wicked Blow over here. Hit through the Protect. Totally forgot about ability Unseen Fist. He is gonna withdraw. That's totally fine. And you are gonna go into a back into a Colossal. Yep, back into Colossal comes out. And we are gonna be able to drop a nice big Brave Bird. Hit over here. And a Wicked Blow is gonna pop over there as well. And he's going to take out my uh, my Urshifu, which is totally fine. And are you gonna go for? Oh no, he's going straight for an Aqua. So you're not. Oh no, you're going after him, dude. This dude's throwing me off so hard. He's throwing me off so hard. Okay. Uh, do I get Gengar out here? Hmm. Do I get the Gar out here? Let me check this thing's speed. 178. Do we think we're out speeding that thing? It's gonna be close. We get this off. Get the Intimidate. I said we get Gengar. I said we go right into Gengar. We get Dynamax and we get rolling from there. Get yeah, rolling from there. This thing's definitely gonna Aqua Jet again. Obviously, I'm gonna take out the Prima Arena. Not gonna worry about it. So I'm just gonna go Brave Bird into that, and then uh, we got Dynamax. And I think we go into a Phantasm, lower the defense. As much as I want to go into an Ooze and just take that thing out, I'd rather go into the Phantasm, lower that thing's defense, and start trying to take off some damage there. Because obviously the Aqua Jet's gotta come out with the Dynamax. Come on, Gengar, I need you here. I need you here. Get out of my face. I'm surprised. Like, I, like, he's just throwing me off at all these plays. Like, I don't, I think he was trying to bait me into a water move. Thinking I was, uh, water. Urshifu. And then trying to bait that, uh, Surgeon Strikes, maybe. And then add that Gashon roll in there, go plus three, and then roll out from there. The Surgeon Strikes, would it make it plus three because it's three hits? Or no, I think it just makes it plus one. But still, either way, that's just, uh, he tried baiting me, but nah, son. It ain't working on my, on me, it ain't working. Let's see what you got. Here comes Dynamax. Now he's going to go for an Aqua Jet into the Colossal Steam Engine with the weakness policy. I love this little combo. I feel like it's such a good combo, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And, and then when they added the G-Max form, everyone's just like, all right, let's bring it back. Let's use it a little bit more. What you want, boy? You don't want the smoke. You don't want it. He might be able to take out my Gengar in one shot, which I think he is going to go after. Aqua Jet comes out. Miss somehow? <laughs> Can it miss? Can it miss if he's going after that? Steam Engine pops, and then the weakness policy should pop as well. I hope he's not holding the weakness policy. Obviously he is, bro. What am I thinking? That would have been hilarious if you're doing this without a weakness policy. Then here comes the Brave Bird. We can say bye bye to Prima Arena. So Talonflame does outspeed, which leads me to think maybe Gengar can outspeed. Which I'm hoping, because if we do, we could be chilling really well. Here. Let's see. Go ahead, Gengar. Go ahead, Gengar. Do him dirty. Yes, sir. Gengar does outspeed a plus six Colossal. How much damage are we doing? We're getting that defense drop as well. So next shot, we will be able to take him out. So he's got to be going for the guard or something along those lines, right? He's got to be going for the guard. And who are you taking out? Please go after my talent flame. If you go after my talent flame, we're sitting really well here. Go after my talent flame. No, Gengar. Eat it up, buddy. He's a glass can. He's not eating it up. Okay, so Gengar goes down. Who do I have left? I have Arcanine. Hmm. If I can get... I don't know if I can get rid of this, uh... This boy right here. It's going to be such a tough one. To get rid of Colossal. We have two fire typings coming out here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Arcanine coming out here. Bro, everything's not very effective. What you mean? <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to take out this Colossal. I think we're going to lose this match just because of that Colossal. I was hoping I could have got that close combat off early into the match. And look what I should have brought. I should have brought the Primarina, dude. I brought the Arcanine instead. I should have brought the Primarina. Would have did work. Would have did work here and probably won us the game. And then that Soul Fest, we probably would have outsped. Would have just got after it. Would have been chilling. This guy has a Moongus as well. We can just tear up on this Moongus. He's probably going to go for a, uh, a what's called, a Rage Powder. So I'm just going to take this thing out. Hmm. Bam, bam. I guess I'll go for a Brave Bird. Take that thing out. And then just Heat Wave up. He's going to drop another rock on my Arcanine. Like, dude, this game is over. It is over. It is over. Oh, he still has one more Pokemon. He has the Gastron. But that thing is, like, low health. Yeah, this one's this one's done. This one's in the dumps, man. The Prima Arena had that uh, th didn't it have a grass move on it as well. I believe it had a coverage move, which would have worked uh really well. I think it was Energy Ball would work well up against that Gastron too. Let's get it. Amoongus is definitely done here. Amoongus is getting the works. I ain't playing around with Amoongus anymore. <laughs> I want it dead. Brave Bird comes out, and oh, it has the uh, what is it, the Koba Berry? Help it eat up an air shot. I actually should have saw that coming. She should have saw that coming, but I think the mixture of this Brave Bird and the Heat Wave might be able to take it out. Yeah, I don't know. Heat Wave's kind of eh, especially on this Arcanine because it's just a support one. 
And this thing outspeeds anyway. And Arcanine's gonna go down. Because you're definitely going after my Arcanine. Yep. Arcanine's gone, dude. This thing's just taking us and he's running us to the storm. But yo, I'm gonna uh, actually end this battle. I don't want my Talon Flame dying. I want my Talon Flame surviving here. My beautiful Firebird right here. You ain't dying, man. You ain't dying, especially to a giant rock. I'm not gonna let it happen. But we're gonna go 0 and 1 in our first battle. We're gonna hop into our second battle and we're gonna try to get rolling here. We are gonna try to get rolling. Try to get ourselves our first win for this video. Look at this opponent's team. I want to use it right now. Look how sick that looks. Starmy, Scissor, Politoed, Dra Dragaggle. How do you even say it? Dragalgy, that's what it is. Dragalgy, jeez, man. I couldn't even pronounce it. Uh, Urshifu and Blastoids. Looking phenomenal. Looking spiffy. Gotta watch out for the rain, though. Gotta watch out for the rain. Yeah, and I think that Starmy has Meteor Beam. Gotta remember that, too. Starmy has Meteor Beam. Starmy got it. He's got to roll. Um, like, really go Talonflame here? I mean, I kind of need a Tailwind up. I really do need a Tailwind up. Um, do I go Tesserine here? Let me see this thing. Let me see this thing. Pure Grass type. I do have a Grass move. Don't I have like Tropic Kicks for it? Power Whip. Oh, did we bring that thing out? Turn one. Let's go Tesserine right here. We have that Wide Lens as well. Um, hmm. Hmm. What you want, fool? What you want? We're gonna go Gengar? Gengar has nice speed rolling, and then I think Urshfu in the back end. And we're gonna get rolling. We're gonna get after it. It's gonna be no problem for you, boy. Let's see. Let's see. Who you gonna play? Who is he gonna play? I feel like Dragalgy is gonna be his uh, main Pokemon of focus here, where he Dynamaxes. That or the uh, or the Blastoids. I have Power Whip ready to go, ready to roll. We got the Wild Lens, so we don't really miss a lot. Um, big damage coming out from her. And then I can set up the Tail when I have Gengar, Glass Cannon over here, Urshfu. He can hit like an absolute truck. So feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Only if this was a Water Urshfu, he would thrive here. He would thrive in this rain and start pouncing on people. This guy definitely has a Water Urshfu. I gotta watch out for that thing as well. But, I'm ready. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, which Urshfu do you guys think are better? Because I know some of them have their pros and cons. Which one do you guys think are better? I really like the Water one. That's just my opinion, but I would love to get you guys' feedback here. Um, I don't think we really need to set up a Tailwind right here. Two slow Pokemon, at least slower Pokemon. I feel like we can just uh, take out the Scissor in one shot. They go home, and then Triple Axle over onto this Dragalgy. And see how that can go. I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. I really am. I don't think we need a Tailwind. Like, my Pokemon should be able to outspeed this thing. 100% Talonflame will outspeed them both. And he's gonna... He's gonna Dynamax. That looks like my character for a second. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not Dynamaxing? I think he's gonna Dynamax to Dragalgy, if anything, right? Or is he gonna go Skizzies? Nope, Dragalgy comes out here. If we hit him with all three triple axles, there's a that's big damage. This thing's probably a soul blessed as well, but still. We have that accuracy boost with the wide lens, so hopefully we can land them all. Let's see what we got rolling here. Put text coming out. Oh, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, man. Should have went for the tail one. Butter Blitz comes out, block. Nice play. Nice play. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him all day. Triple Axe comes out. Yay. Come on, hit him with the second one. Get him. Get after it. Yes, hit him with the third one now. Hit him with the third one. Give it to him. Yes, sir. Big old damage coming out. Yes, sir. Brings him down to about half. That's awesome. This thing is definitely not weakness policy. It's got to be a soul best hit. Ooze is coming out. Um, That might take out my test stream. Leave him alone. Yeah, okay. So that thing's gone. They're getting a special attack. Popping. The boosting happening. Um, Again, we still have speed. But I might just kill Gengar. And Dynamax and get after it. So I can take out this Dynamax Dragalgy. Be pretty nice. All right, best bet would be right here. For being the Gar. Get the Gar out here. Surprise Fairy Typing. Well, it is Poison. It's Poison and Dragon. I was going to say, Fairy Typing should be super effective. But I'm fine with it. Flare Blitz going to pop out here. There's no way this thing's Sash. Um, we're going to go for the Phantasm and take out the Dragalgy here as well. To get after it. I think this thing should be able to take out Dragalgy. I mean, this thing is probably a Soul Fested. So, eh, we'll see. We will definitely see. What you want, fool? He has plus one on special attack. It does nothing for Scissor because Scissor's physical attacking. What you want, fool? I think the Scissor goes down or he swaps out. Maybe I should have went for the Brave. But I don't want to go for like the risky plays when the simple plays usually just win you the game, you know? There's no way. You ain't not swapping out. You are not swapping out, kind sir. You ain't doing it. You're trash. You're trash, good. <laughs> like my favorite, one of my favorite lines. He does withdraw, bro. What you mean? No, Urshifu. Yo, I should have went for the Brave Bird. Just dumped on this thing. Told to go home. That would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. We are going to take a recoil damage. I do not think we need the Tailwind. I really don't think we need the Tailwind. I think we're fine with our speed. I think we're chilling. I think we're looking good. I think everything's thriving. 
Yeah, and we should be able to outspeed the Urshifu next turn and just be able to get after him. See what happens. He's gotta be going after my town point, man. Imagine if I went for the Brave Bird. <laughs> oh, that would've been gross. Bruh, bruh, poo poo damage there. Poo poo damage. Oh, we get the burn, yo. Oh, I love you. I love you, Town Flame. That's what you love to see, baby. Big ol' burn. That's huge. Take him out. Take out your galaxy. Nope. This thing is a tank. Especially with that assault vest. We get that defensive drop, which is pretty big. So I'll be able to take it out next turn. I know I got the speed advantage. Um, hmm. Hmm. The worm wind comes out here. Things just dumped on me. Oh my lord. Is that a crit? Things just absolutely mauled on me. Things just mauled on me, man. Jeez, dude. Yeah, like, I love Gengar. It's just, you get mauled on sometimes. It's just a glass cannon. It just gets one shot out the buns. Maybe we shouldn't have Dynamax him. Maybe we should just be playing it a different way. But the burn on there, um, we're gonna bring out Urshifu. I feel like close combat's gotta come in here or something along those lines. Brave Bird definitely gotta take out this Urshifu. And then, do I go for just a wicked blow? Get that crit so I don't lower my defense? Yeah, I think that's the play. I think that is the play. Because that Urshifu isn't really gonna do too, too much. Because it's either going to die or it's burnt. Like, the Brave Bird's gonna come out here, definitely outspeed it and take it out. In my opinion, yeah. This thing should be gone. Tell to go home, get out of my face. See you later, buddy. You gone. You gone. And I'm hope hopefully this uh, Wicked Blow could just take out and we can roll out after this. Because then I could Brave Bird. I have, a, I have a speed advantage rolling. Go ahead, Wicked Blow. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Let's get it. Okay, beautiful. Critical hit. Guaranteed crit here. Still in this battle. Still in this battle a lot. Man, dude, if that Gengar didn't get absolutely dumped on. Like, like I've been saying, yo, he's a glass can. Hits so hard, but he cannot take a hit. Cannot take a hit. I know that thing was plus one, but like you guys know what I'm talking about. Normally that thing is just defense is in the trash. And just gets ran on all the time. But comes out scissor. I can flare blast this thing down. Hopefully it's not sash. And blastoids comes out as well. Um, hmm. Am I really like this thing's gonna protect? That scissor's gotta protect, right? The scissors gotta protect. So I'm gonna go after that. I ain't playing around. And then I think I just drop a close combat into this thing. Try to do as much damage as I can. Scissor does protect you. The reeds. The reeds, baby. Get out of my face. The reeds coming out. The reeds are coming out. We're going to Brave Bird across to the right side. Come on. We got to kill this thing. We got to kill this thing. Close combat. Come out first. Come out first, close combat. I need you here. I need you here, close combat. Outspeed that thing. He does, yo. Your boy. Your boy. The reeds, baby. The reeds. Coming up big there. Uh, maybe I actually didn't have the close combat there. I should have just wicked blowed so my defense wouldn't go down. But I am focused at it, so I can 100% take a hit. No problem. No problem whatsoever. But your boy did it. Your boy did it for the Jeans Online Gaming Community. Made that awesome read at the end. I'm just going to drop another close combat. That's 120 base with stab. And it doesn't really matter. But there we go. Battle is canceled. The read wins us the game, and we go 1-1. One one. Now we can hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Third and final battle, going for a winning record here. This guy has Grimmsnarl, Corviknight, Terrakion, Hitmontop, Salazzle. Ooh, Salazzle. Haven't seen that one in a while. And Primarina right here. Um, who should I go into? Is that a beat-up team? Has anybody learned beat-up here? I'm not too sure. Maybe Salazzle? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just playing for fun. Just playing for fun over here. Uh, I guess I go uh, Talonflame again. It's always a solid option, Talonflame. You gotta watch out for the fake-out. I kind of want to lead Tesserine just for that fake-out option. Just to get it out the way so I can definitely get off a Tailwind and be able to roll out. He has no Trick Room. Um, do I give Gengar another chance? Do I give the Gar another chance? I said we do it. Uh, do I do it? I kind of want to go Primarina here. Let's bring Primarina. And then Gar. Let's bring Primarina and Gar. Then we get after it. Then we're going to get after it. I, I did want to bring Urshifu again, but I was just like, dude, we use him so many times. Let's give Primarina a little bit of love in here. And then roll out for the third final battle. But the Queenly Majesty, it lets uh, no first turn priority moves come through. So, will that cancel out my, uh, Raper? I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna get off a Tailwind, because I know we can definitely get off a Tailwind. I don't know how that's gonna work. No, because we used it, uh, last game, right? Was it last game? Yeah, where, where we went after the, the Dragalgy? We used it last game, then. I went for the, uh, the Flare Blitz and all that stuff, and it worked out fine. He goes to Rakion and, uh, Grimmy Poo. And Grimmy Poo, so no fake out coming out here, so, mm, a little tough. We just go straight for a high jump kick and get after this thing. Or Power Whip. I'm going to go for straight, straight Power Whip. I do some damage onto that thing. And then I'm going to uh, definitely set up this Tailwind. Because Terrakion is rather fast. What people don't realize is it looks bulky. It looks kind of slow. That thing is like, like speed when it's all maxed out. It gets like 180 something. It gets up there. It's like 170 to the 180 range. So I'm going to Tailwind. Try to take speed advantage. And hopefully my Tesserine can outspeed and just Power Whip the buns off this thing. 
Even though it's going for a reflect. Get it, yo. Hit it down with the double slammers. Get it, power up. Do it. Look at it. Double slam and jamming. Get it. Bop, 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 bop. Get out my face. Even through the reflect. Get it out of here. Get going, kid. Get going. And yo, there's like a fly right in front of my screen and everything. And it's bothering me. So if you see me doing a little, uh, a little bit of kung fu out here, trying to get this thing with the chopsticks, you get that's that's why. That's why. It's just a fly going around. So I'm like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. I'll get that thing with the chopsticks. Don't worry, guys. I got it. <laughs> um. I guess I just roll into another power whip or to protect. Um, let's go into the power whip. Actually, I might swap. I might just go straight for the Brave Bird. Nah, yo, we chill. We staying in here. I'm gonna get off this power whip again. Like, what's this fool trying to do for me? And I'm gonna get after it with this flare blitz, yo. I'm just get straight after you, dog. What you want? Yo? Get out of here, fly, yo. There he is. He's right in front of the screen, man. He's right in front. Of yo, you guys see him? He's flying right in front of me. He's toying with me. He's like, yo, Jeans is recording right now. Yo, get out of here. Did I catch him? Nah, I did not. I did not, but he's like, yo, Jeans is recording right now. Let's fly, let's bother him, let's get on camera, let me show off my skills and all that. He's like, he, he knows that I got all these uh, awesome viewers, all these awesome supporters. So he's just like, let me let me see if I can bring him over to my channel. I'm like, nah, yo, chopsticks, get out of here, fly. <laughs> Blair Blitz comes out. Give me the burn, yo, show me the burn, that'd be lovely. Show it to me, baby. No burn, what you mean? This game's trash, dog. <laughs> Power up comes out, the double slammer jammer. You get it, bop, 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 bop. Nice damage, not bad, brings it down to about half. I think another one will take it out, but Airstream's gonna come out here. He's gonna start boosting speed and take out Casarina. I think it's Serena or something like that. I don't know. Again, I said this in the beginning of the video. Everyone's gonna give me some crap about it. But yo, yo, Gene, you ain't pronouncing it right. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, yo, get out of my face. Uh, Spirit Break comes through. Gonna lower my special attack. That's totally fine. We'll be able to eat that up. And it's tasty snacky out there, too. It's a taste. You got a crit. Bruh. Don't make me say. If he gets another crit, you guys are gonna get a loud. Loud one. I don't wanna I don't wanna say it yet. Uh do I go guard here? Hmm. Where do I really go here? Do we save the guard? I could go pre marina. And drop another flare butts into uh try to get the burn. Hmm. And then a moon blast will definitely be able to finish that thing off and then we just save the guard. We save the guard. We save the car. Oh yeah, we save the car. Get it pre. Get it pre Marina. Get after it. Light screen coming out here. That was obvious. I still think this moon boy says take this thing out and say night night to it. Let's see what you got, kid. Player blitz coming out. Give me the burn. I'm looking for the burn. Give it to me. Give it. Bruh, 0 for 2, man. 0 for 2. We're about to be dead. Airstream comes out against pre or town flame hopefully. Yep, town flame. That's box. That rocks out. Save my pre marina a little bit. And then I'm definitely getting out this car. I'm definitely getting out this car. Do I Dynamax car? Do I, do I give it another chance? Things just been getting one tap out the funds, man. It really depends who that next mine is, because this should be able to take out this uh, Grimstone, no problem. Stab, big old moon blast, even through the light screen. Should be able to get it out of here. Yep. Get it gone, kids. Get it out of here. Okay, so depending on this Pokemon, we'll determine who do I Dynamax. Probably going to be Gengar, because he is Life Orb. I love this thing. I could actually Dynamax and protect him and then wait for that Talon Flame or not Talon Flame. Wait for that Corviknight to actually just uh, go down a little bit. I could just throw an Energy Ball over onto that thing. I think that might be the play. Yeah, let's go Energy Ball. And then let's Dynamax him. I do have, I do have Max Ooze as well. I'm going to Ooze this thing. Actually, no. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to guard it. I am going to guard it. I am going to play it safe. I'm not dealing with this thing. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it today. <laughs> Gotta play it safe. Usually I play a little risky, a little bit, and I'll go after it, but it never really pays off. You guys know it. Like, usually I make a risky play, and you guys will be sitting at your screens like, bruh, jeans, are you dumb or are you stupid? You're dead now. And then I die, and then we lose the match. But <laughs> I'm gonna try to slow it down a little bit. See if we, I can uh, win this one. Guard coming out here. Show me going for the airstream over on my guard. Please. Airstream. Block, baby. Get out of my face. I ain't dealing with you. Here comes my energy ball. Get out of here. It's not gonna kill it, but it's still gonna do a decent amount of damage. Is it is gonna be a soul vessel as well. And is this thing gonna double up? Oh, and we do get the special defense drop, which is nice. Hyper voice comes out here. Block. Hyper voice ain't doing anything to my Primarina. That's tasty snacky out there. Mmm, God, yo, that's delicious. That is delicious. All right, so Tailwind Peter's out. Um, I think I just ooze up onto the Primarina slot. I think it might roost. I don't really care for it. But I'm definitely going to Hyper Voice now. And then ooze up over onto you. We get that special attack boost because that's going to work well for uh, both uh, Gengar and Primarina. And I knew he's going to roost, so I'm not really too worried. You can get your health back. I'm boosting my stats, and I'm looking to win this game. 
I am looking to win this match. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it. Get out of my face. Get it out of here. Get it, go. And here's the plus, the plus one. This game's over. This game is over with. Your boy makes a little bit of a comeback, goes down on the first battle, wins his next two, and we get that winning record. We looking good, baby. We looking spiffy. Fly's got nothing on us. Every voice comes out. Not bad damage. And then this guy should just cancel out. Should I cancel out? Should I give this guy the win? Psych. Nah, he didn't earn it. We can drop a Hydro Cannon on him. Hydro Cannon and Phantasm. I should have probably guarded it and tried to just show off the Hydro Cannon because Hydro Cannon looks sick. But, nope. He's going to Iron Head. He's going to try to take me out. We still eat that up. That's a tasty snack, buddy. The water typing helps us out because usually it's super effective just the berries, but the water typing is definitely helping us out. And then the Phantasm comes out here and cleans this one up, and we eating out here, baby. We eating. Get that victory, that victory royale, that Fortnite battle royale, victory royale, and we go 2-1 and one for this video. I had a blast with this team right here. The Gengar absolutely rocks. Been talking about him all day. The Earth food was so good on this team. I think it was uh, probably one of the better Pokemon on the team. Town Flame rocks out. Tessarina did come up clutch in that last battle with the Power Whip. Same thing with Prima Arena with that Hyper Voice and taking out in the long run. And I didn't really get the show off Arcanine, but you guys kind of already know what that Pokemon does considering I used it a lot in the past. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.